Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Alrighty, so we got a few things to do. It's been a while since we played on this particular account, so let's see what is left to do. Alright, uh, we gotta get something going here, it looks like. So all this has been moved up to that portion, so I'm gonna get move one of these two up, most likely. But we need lots and lots of gold, apparently, so that's a thing, too. Let's uh, take a look. We got some uh, magixes we gotta buy to get ready for some battles. Alright, uh, we gotta donate some mana. Sure, we got a little bit of mana. Uh, we gotta do that. That's fine. We'll hire them. Boss challenge. We're gonna skip that today, so we're just gonna gem that and get that going. Oh, we're gonna do plenty of those. That's fine. We definitely got enough honor badges. Let's see what we got for our heroes so we know what we're playing with and who needs what. So everyone's 100 plus right now that we care about. And we got some more uh, things to donate to our heroes. Which one were we trying to level up? Uh, so far I'm not seeing it. Uh, looks like it's going to be this one gets the slimes. Give a little upgrade to them. Okay, we're very, very close to that 5 mark, which would definitely be helpful. How much, uh... We're trying to farm up, I think. Uh, uh, we're really trying to save up for a good old, uh... Because it's going to take forever to get a particular legend that we want. So we're probably going to want Reaper, which is forever away. We'll see. We might spend some of those shards and get that uh, Pumpkin Duke a little higher. Because with that pumpkin duke at the next level, we are going to be doing some damage. And damage is good. That's muy bueno. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, still our big one that's holding us back here is a Lanacor. Lanacor is not doing much damage. And Ninja is also holding us back too. Because Ninja likes to die. So, those are our two downsides. Everything else is on the up and up. Let's uh, kill off some of these guys in a battle of some sort. So let's get a little bit of gold, even though that's not part of our requirements for today. But we need gold for, well, leveling stuff up. So, as you can see, we need gold, we need mana, we need stuff. <laughs> Simply put, we need lots and lots of stuff. And we also, I think, did we level that up? No, no, no. Now, hmm, to bring in another Mana Vault or not to bring in another Mana Vault? That is the question. We'll be thinking about that in a little bit. Might balancing is, ooh, and delicious. So right here, when you come in with actually a Pumpkin Duke and Druid together and just get this going up a few times and just... Okay, of course I failed horribly there, but we'll still get going. We'll clear this up just for giggles. I was stupid. I wasn't paying attention. Usually my uh, pumpkin duke would survive that, but he was dying too quickly and uh, Drew didn't get a heal off fast enough. And I just wasn't paying attention. Naughty me. I should be better to my heroes. I should treat them better. Usually uh, what would happen then is uh, Pumpkin Duke would get a whole bunch of stacks and just zigzag around just destroying everything. Let's just get uh, that out because for some reason Druid's heals are going slow because we don't have Pumpkin Duke. Alright, we're going to get out. We got the gold that we cared about there. Let's uh, gem him up. I was stupid. Now, um, let's see. For this, we're, we don't have to gem to get the next level of that. So that is not our primary concern. We definitely want to get this tower up. The, like I said, the higher we get our towers up, the better we're going to be doing. Um, but we got enough gems. I think we can try and get a hero. Let's cross our fingers for a good hero. <clears throat> we really need a good hero. Another good hero to get us into farming G consistently. And then hopefully on to H quick enough. So let's uh, cross fingers here. Uh, we're going to do a three and a pop. Ooh, that hurt a little. Nothing good there. How about one more? One more? Or we'll do one at a time, one at a time. 
Nada. 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 Well, we can probably save um, because it's going to be a few days. We're going to. We can take this down another one. Oh, it's still garbage. But we can feed all that garbage to our friend here. So we got plenty of junk that we picked up there. Let's feed it to our friend. Let's make him nice and plump. We're fattening him up. Uh, these other ones. These other ones are good to save when you want to boost might. You level them up, and that's why I'm keeping them there. Because as soon as I want to boost might, I wouldn't want to boost might with blues. I would only want to boost might with purples. With legends. So, there's a little tip. Okay, so that's, mm, that's 400 something. 450 to get that sucker over the edge. 450 shards to kick him into the high gear. I am going to probably do it, even though I probably shouldn't. One, two, three, and then 300. One, two, three. I think that's what's needed. Uh, I want this guy to just be extremely deadly. He's what makes the rest of our crew go, so might as well buff him up a bit, and that's going to push us forward a bit. So now you can see it's up to 30%, and you can see that obviously we've got the additional 25%, so his stacks are going to go much faster where he stacks into himself and boosts everyone up to maximum power. All right, we need gold. Please give me gold. Lots of gold. It's a hundred thousand. What's well, a hundred thousand between friends? All right, so let's get this in. Hopefully, what we can do is get ready. Appropriate, appropriate. Ah, oh, come on. I uh, see the problem. I gotta get much better with factoring in these towers damage. Because the towers, he had the sliver, but that sliver didn't actually matter. Because the health doesn't actually get taken. It gets taken away as soon as it shoots from the tower. But you don't see it drop down until a moment or two later. So you can gauge it incorrectly. So you gotta sort of watch how fast your heroes... HP is dropping, and I wasn't doing a good job again at that. That's me being a bad person. So let's uh, do a little better here. Man, I gotta play on this account more. I'm so used to my other account where I actually tank with my Pumpkin Duke. It's got a 5 5 revive on it. Oh. But I definitely prefer uh, yeah, that, but I'm just doing it improperly. So let's come on in again and let's bring in all this stuff because we need to kill it off anyway. Ninja, if he dies, I don't care. It's Ninja. I said don't care. Now their heroes and stuff is just really not scary to me. The only one who's going to probably die or even run the risk of dying is Ninja. And all those little heroes were purposely trying to kill him off anyway. So, it's fine that they die. Those little troops are good to die. That's all they're there for. So we just came in here for the gold and the mana. Everything else is pointless. We don't have to get the full clears. We just really wanted gold and mana. That's it. So, we're not trying to... Uh, it's not part of our questing to do anything else other than golden mana, so that's all we're needing it for, is just for uh, leveling our stuff up. Now this is much better quantities. Okay, so let's get that in, get ready to there. Alright, I'm starting to prep in advance with my uh, <laughs> guardian shield. Okay, okay, we can do this. Now we're starting to get some stacks of pumpkin duke going. This is going to be useful. You can see we're uh, getting our movement speed up. Once we get them up to 7, too, we'll be really good. Should probably test this guy out in the boss uh, tomorrow. See how well he performs now. 
Because with upping his uh, attack speed there, it's going to benefit us. We might be able to get a perma stun soon on the uh, boss, which is very useful for getting additional honor badges. Boss fights are definitely useful for badges. So, But everyone knows that. Nothing new here. Okay, we're looking pretty good so far. Alright, cleared that up. We got uh, a little bit of magics we need again. A little, little wizardry. Now we've got 700, so we can definitely get this up, which is one of our primary things we should be leveling. Still need a lot more mana before we can even consider doing any of those, so... And we get a few more gems. And we got our magic. Let's get back into the game and uh, see what we got going on. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. That is a lot of gold, a lot of mana. This person knows how to donate properly. <laughs> All right. And I killed my ninja, but I don't care about ninja, I think. Oh, well. All right. Their engineer should not kill us. And I did put our bird in when we shouldn't have actually had our bird in play. So that was a little dumb on my part to put the bird in play, but, you know, oh, well. keeping a close eye here on our uh, pumpkin duke because look how fast he starts to die there we're gonna probably have to back out we're not going to get the mana maybe we might not be hoarding the mana keeping a close eye much better now all we need is the mana and then we can back out there is a stun here so we got to keep an eye on that too Starting to pay attention more. <laughs> you know, that makes a little difference. Alright, we got what we needed. We can back out. Don't need to get the full clear. I think we can probably level up our magic as well. Start getting a little bit more powerful magics as well. Our might isn't horrible. We're still able to farm for the most part when I'm being smart. Those first few deaths that I had on that was completely my fault because I was being uh, not fully awake yet. So that was my fault, my fault. It's pretty obvious it was my fault. <laughs> so yeah, nothing to worry about here. All right, so let's just get this on the road. That's some more gold, a little bit of gold, not a lot of mana though. Uh, sort of a bit of each. There's a little stun there, but nothing too horrible. So we could potentially come in just right from here. and Hopefully, I know we're tanking with our Pumpkin Duke, but I'm hoping that he gets his, uh, it makes him get his uh, energy up faster, which then gets us to run around the map. So right now we're looking good. Health is looking good. We're doing all right. It's going to be okay. We're going to be all right. Ugh. So my new mic is actually, uh, it does really good. But the problem is Windows can't handle everything that it's giving off. So I actually got to, uh, now I'm going to be soon getting a new recording program uh, for just sound alone and then match them up. So at some point I'm going to have to just start doing that for a uh, matchup sound. And I will. Okay, so everything's good. Just uh, need some magixes. Okay, with that much. I should definitely get that one going. So we're just gonna have one builder left. Now, depending upon how much mana or gold we get, uh, is what we're going to be going through. So we're gonna stop the farming soon, 
And continue on with something else. Hopefully we'll get some gold and mana from doing our G's for the day. Interesting, they like protecting their flowers. And what about here? Nada needs the gold. This has gold, this has mana. A little bit of ouchies, but not too much in ouchies. So we can bring these forward, get ready to shield it up. Looks like Atlanticor is going to take some of the aggro. This guy can't do too much damage, but their towers are starting to be annoying. That tower is hitting a little hard. We just need to get some heals off and we'll be okay. So keep healing me. Keep healing. There you go. <laughs> I don't care about Atlanticor as much, but got to keep an eye on our Pumpkin Duke. Pumpkin Duke is very squishy. <laughs> His insides like to explode and blow all over the place. He's a pumpkin head. He goes and explodes. <sighs> okay, so yeah, he's gonna be okay now, I think. So we just wanna kill off that last one. I don't know if we care too much for the mana, so. Or maybe we can go for it. Or a smidge away from it get the 100%? Eh, it doesn't matter. 2,000 is just not enough to care. Let's back out. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, we were farming Eth. We're getting close to farming J. We might be able to farm G shortly. Uh, so we do need to get this up. I think we'll go for this one. And we'll use mana to get something else up. So one is the gold vaults. Or, yeah, because one of the gold vaults. Because these things are... That's the only one that maybe we could boost up a little. Maybe. Maybe a hero base. Do a little bit more damage. So that means two damages. And two things that are useful. Mm, okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do the... We'll try and go for the damage. Damage makes sense to me. I could, I can justify doing more damage and killing things. Killing things is always good. All right, so if I remember where our bomb placement is, I think it's over here. It makes the most sense. It's been a while since I played on this count, so bear with me. I gotta place bombs <laughs> where I think I would probably place them. I think these were actually over here. That would make sense. Okay. I think it was something like that, probably. I try and place bombs where I believe they're going to do the most damage. So, if you're wondering why I place them where I place them, that's why. Because I believe that we're going to be able to trap them in a particular area and do good damage. So, let's start our donations and then start farming the G. All right, all right, no, yes, maybe, ah, F. G is still gonna be hard. We could do it though. I think it'd be like 50%, maybe 30% victories, which F, should we should be really close to 100% victories. Nothing's ever 100% though, so I'll probably give it, give it 90 or 80. So, so far so good. Let's zoom it out a little bit so we get more of the action. We do have to get some more gold at some point and start leveling up our walls. Because things exploding will take out walls. <laughs> As you guys have seen before. So we gotta, at some point, pay attention to that. That, that does matter. Especially uh, at the point when we start farming ninjas, or start farming G, sometimes it can be the exploding ninja. Those things do a good chunk of damage. So, we gotta keep our eye out for those things. But other than that, we're alright. Alright. With this wave, I think we're okay. 
because Pumpkin Duke's got a stack going and just everything else is going to melt away. Might lose the tower, but, you know, it's a loss. It'll happen. There we go. Everyone is revited up. That is... This next wave shouldn't be doing that well at all. It should disappear fairly quickly. They shouldn't have the advantage here. We should have home field advantage and kill everything extremely quickly. See, there's that exploding thing I was telling you about. See how it popped there and did damage to the walls? But now since we got stacks of pumpkin dew, look how everything is just melting away. It's smidge of damage, that's all. That's what we were talking about earlier. That's, that's what it was about. Okay, what are we going to here? F5, should be okay on that. It should be able to get a few stacks going. We should win this. This should be a good victory here. There we go, we're starting to bounce around. Our hero's are taking a bit of damage. Because that dino, you know, does pack a punch. But we killed him, so it's fine. Alright, there's that chunk of gold that time around. So we got some stuff to beat. We could use some of the books to boost ourselves up a little bit. Let's see if, who we can play around with and give a little bit of an additional advantage to. So we can get that up. That would matter a little bit. Help us out. Ninja, I don't care what it is. You, you, you can level up normally. I'm not going to give you books. <laughs> All right. So that should put us over the top there. And what about over here? That's, that's still further away than I'd like. Uh, hmm. Thunder God is still their primary DPS, so we gotta hopefully get them over it. There we go. So we just leveled up two of our people. So that is going to help us out a good chunk, I believe. And let's get some bombs into play. It seems we can get away without having a few bombs. I believe we did that last time. We didn't uh, put bombs down again before going, but uh, I don't know how often we're going to be able to get away with that. I would like to be able to start farming F without bombs, because that usually means that you can go to G. Like I said, the difference between F and G isn't really that much. But the difference between G and H is. So we'll we'll do what we can. Alright. We should also start leveling up this. I think actually we're gonna need to level this so we can get our troops faster. See when you do a level up, the recruit time keeps getting faster and faster as well. So it's less time wasted, but you could also just gem them, so there's options. It's not like we're just stuck doing that. Let's zoom out a little bit. Once again, for those that have blue stacks, to zoom out, you just do control and uh, the mouse wheel. So if you're wondering on how to do it, that's how you do it for uh, for those with blue stacks. But for, for those on your phone, that's pretty easy to do. So. Alright, this next wave is a little interesting, but just don't want our heroes to get aggro. Our main concern is heroes getting aggro. A little bit of damage in the building, but everyone's revited up, so we're okay. Pumpkin Duke's not revited up, but yeah, it'll happen soon enough. And what else do we got going on here? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Hmm. See how the stacks of Pumpkin Duke just make such a big difference. As soon as he starts going, everything starts disappearing. Man, those, those guys hit pretty hard, don't they? These little mech warriors. Whew. But we did good, and he's revited up. This next wave, they should disappear fairly quick. I don't think they're going to do as much damage as they did before to this. Once Pumpkin Duke goes off, it should be... Woo, that was an exploding one. <laughs> I was telling you how those things can do some damage when they explode. 
and are we gonna have a revite again on our stuff? Not really, just on a healer. But we should be okay for this final wave. We still should be alright. Well, maybe not. They're going to take down this because it has been weakened a few times. Which means whatever's over here is going to start tanking. But we just got a stun off on them, so we're doing fairly good. Although their uh, dino is starting to get their damage going, which dino can suck. Because he stuns everyone. Watch the stun. Ooh, that stun hurt. It really did. All we got left is a uh, Lanacor, and Lanacor is going to. Oh, thank you, Lanacor, for actually proccing. <laughs> Whew. All right, we cleared it up just barely. That dino. <laughs> uh, can't let dino get wild and go loose. All right, let's start donating some more and get back in. Probably donate at the end, not at the beginning. Still have some bombs to place. Got to keep an eye on the clock because I do have work today. I have work most days, and that's why it's hard to make videos. I work lots. <laughs> but that's, you know, how I got money to play play these games. So, work is very important. That's where he gets the monies from. Alright, let's get this on the road. Zoom out, see what we're dealing with. They should be able to come in fairly quick and die. Okay, the wave is getting cleared up quite nicely. Maybe they'll take out a tower. Nope. So we kept that tower up, which is good. We might lose the tower, but uh, other than that, since we got Pumpkin Duke stacks going, we should be able to clear up pretty much everything else that shouldn't take too much damage. <clears throat> ah, maybe we... Pumpkin Duke to the... Oh, my God, and Pumpkin Duke just got everyone nicely revited up, too. So, this wave should just pretty much disappear. They might get a few of these guys to hit the tower, a few of the mech warriors to hit the tower, but... Other than that, this wave is going to go bye-bye. Maybe not even that, if we can get those stacks going. Ooh, got a few. Whoa, man. Whew. They hit hard. <laughs> they, they did take up the tower. Whew. A lot of damage from those little guys. They're cranky little mech warriors. They're like, I don't care if I'm going to die. <laughs> Suicide mission. But they accomplished their goal. They took down the tower, so congrats to them. They stuck to it and did what they set their, put their minds to. So, yeah, gotta give them some credit. Credit where credit is due. They did the damage they set out to do. All right, this final wave is going to be interesting. They're gonna split off now. Splitting off can harm us because we're not focusing our damage and a lightning strike might just go nowhere that's not even useful so this can hurt us for it being split off so it looks like they were targeting Lanacor which helped us so Lanacor actually did well this time Lanacor was actually a useful hero good job Lanacor <laughs> alright so we can definitely get this up now or get this. Ah. Ugh, both of them I want to do. Yeah, we can get these. <clears throat> Probably do it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'd rather get this going. We need to uh, farm G sooner. It's more important. 
quest rewards we can still get. They just take a little bit longer. Because that's all I'd be really doing it for is to get the quest rewards completed faster. That's it. No other benefit than getting uh, quest rewards completed faster. Because I don't really use... Uh, troops when attacking other people, so... That's all I would care for it is just quest rewards. Getting close to it as well. And let's do another. Alright, two left, two left. <laughs> Still, here we go. It's going to be alright. They're going to attack. Possibly lose the gold vault and tower, it looks like. We're just not doing enough damage, it seems. Or, nope, now we are taking out there. Okay, we did good. So we kept the tower and the gold vault alive. I thought actually for a moment that we're going to lose both due to how quickly the gold vault was going down. But apparently, the stacks of Pumpkin Duke saved us, which is good. Pumpkin Duke did his job. Right, just waiting on those to get killed. As long as our stuff doesn't die. Okay, that was a good wave as well. Let's see this third wave. It's questionable. Good spawn so far. So everything looks appropriate. A little bit more damage, just a smidge. There we go. Man, they're gonna take out that tower. Whew. Yeah, the, it seems the third and fourth wave can do really good damage to the towers. Well, the third wave. The fourth wave only does damage to the towers if the uh, stuff is dead. Fourth wave, we've been doing good so far in clearing up each time. Third wave is, yeah, like I said, those, those mech warriors seem to be doing good damage but it will be all right so we just hit a whole bunch of ranged dps they are going to potentially kill that but our heroes are going berserk all right right here here we go pumpkin duke these are slowing down a little bit which is strange obviously So we're looking good, looking good, looking good. Things are going to die fairly quick here. Clean it up. Owl is good. Okay. So let's see if we can do it without bombs. We're hoping to be able to do this stuff without bombs, so let's give it a try we did level up our heroes for that intended goal to uh, go without it so let's see if they can actually perform well come on uh, do we really need bombs not having to put bombs out saves time allows us to do more now we still got some uh, hero trials maybe a few if we want to do them I'm not the most excited about hero trials and more uh, hero expeditions could be fun the expeditions be useful today. What do we got going on? What is happening here? F3, they are going to definitely take this tower. This tower is dead. Dead, 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 dead. I'm predicting its death. I'm predicting its death. Predicted its death predicted its death 
Are they going to prove me wrong? <laughs> you little grar. <laughs> well, I'm happy that it's still alive. Okay, usually I can F4 is pretty easy for me. So this should go by fairly quick. And then we move one. All right. There they all die. They're actually doing some damage to the hero base right there. So I think they're all targeting this. Okay, that lightning strike was good. Thunder God, good job. Alright. Okay, so yeah, let's try it again. See if that wasn't just a fluke, but I think we can start doing F without the bombs. Which means we're, we can do G now, I think. We can do G. I wanna wanna do a G. I want I want I want some G. It's gonna be a close one. Yeah, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna do a G. So I'm thinking we're close to the range to start to be able to do it. We're still gonna have losses on G though. G just by by its own nature, you're gonna die more often until you get your heroes up. And also your tanking buildings up. So we're risking it. We're probably gonna die, but I think it's gonna be close, which is why I'm sort of willing to do it now. So let's see if there's anything we can do with it, these additional books that we got. See if we can boost ourselves up just a smidge, just a just a smidge. So that one's gonna take a bit more. This one can go up. This one can go up. This one can go up. That one. So let's get that up. So consume, earn a little a smidge of exp. Get you over the limit. Let's get you over the limit. Uh, sure. And one more to go. This guy. Consume. There we go. So we leveled up some stuff there. So that's giving us a little advantage. Not a ton of advantage, but a little. So, Druid. Hmm. I don't think that would level you up. We could get ninja, but I don't really want to give the books to ninja. We definitely need some heals. So we'll just uh, see if we can come to the next level. <laughs> so close. So close. Yeah, that was, that was fairly close. I will do it because I just want to get those guys up. All right. Anything else we can really do? We can maybe buy some, um, see what we can purchase. I usually like purchasing um, hero talent refresh cards. You can get 300 gems pretty easy then from that by instead of uh, when your quest comes up for doing a talent refresh use the talent refresh card and you get yourself 300 gems it's way better than actually doing that card than doing where you actually purchase um, honor badges so it's way better because it's only 300 for that for the, the uh, to get 300 gems basically so 300 to 300 gems and that uh, for 300 gems you can do what uh, 2,000 4,000 6,000 6,000 honor badges from transferring it once per day into from um, gems to honor badges at 50 uh, gems a pop. And look how much you get for that, only 100. You times that, uh, 
by six. Yeah, that's you get such a better value of uh, for honor badges actually doing that gem card. So I, for the most part, I've been because even the talent refreshes if you wanted to boost your might, you can boost your might by getting your uh, heroes that are in your towers get their uh, talents up to five of five for their secondary talents. So. You want to boost might, or you want to boost might. You want to get gems. You want to get honor badges. You want to do any of that stuff. Pretty much buying up those uh, talent refresh cards. I seem to be a great way of playing around to get more stuff out of it. it takes a little bit more time because you got to get the quest, of course, that requires the talent refresh card. You got to then wait each day to trade the gems in for honor badges. But all those things combined together seems to be the best way of spending it, or at least the way that I found to be the best. So, my opinion. I love those hero talent refresh cards. Whenever I see them, I buy them. Even if I'm not going to be using them that day, I see them, I buy them. Straight up. How many of they have, I buy them out. <laughs> so I just sort of save it for that. And anything that, all my leftover uh, stuff, I'm just going to probably save up for a legendary hero. So that's how I've been playing the game. But let's stop stalling and do a G. Wah. Wah, G. We're in the range where we can do G, just not... Uh, see, you can see the hero level range. They're definitely above us, so they have the advantage. We have home field advantage, but they have the level advantage. So eh. Once we get our talents up some more, that level advantage won't matter as much, and we will also level up faster, too. The quicker we can get our heroes to a higher level... Ooh, did we lose someone? Ninja? Uh, ninja doesn't matter that much, but that's still a bad loss, because a loss, nonetheless, is a loss. Ah. No, we didn't lose Ninja. We lost Pumpkin Duke. Oh, no. That's more than a loss. This is just game over. We're dead. We can get some EXP on this, but we we can't get a victory now at this point. I, I just don't see it being possible. Once we've lost Pumpkin Duke, that's a pretty fatal loss. Oh. I, thought I, must, cause I, I thought we lost Ninja because Ninja pretty much always dies. But it was actually Pumpkin Duke. It was Pumpkin Duke. No, oh, that was that's a pretty bad loss. That that's hurting us right there. That's a painful loss. And right here we might take a decent hit too, because these guys are gonna be able to clear through without having any problems. Yeah. Yep. That hurt. <laughs> Losing Pumpkin Duke. That's that's how much Pumpkin Duke matters to my team because we're not DPS heavy. We're uh, tanky heavy. So losing Pumpkin Duke makes us really not be able to kill anything. So massive loss there. As soon as we lost Pumpkin Duke, it was lights out. That won't be true when we get higher level range. We'll be able to stay alive longer. But because we don't have that level advantage right now, losing losing Pumpkin Duke was a very, very bad thing. Still did make it all the way to uh, G5, but ain't going to be able to kill anything with just one hero. One hero that looks like it's going to be taking the aggro right away. So it's pretty much end game there. But still 40,000 EXP. Yeah, it's 40,000 EXP. So... We did that. Now let's get on to um, doing some expeditions. Just a few. Not too many. Just a few. Not a ton. We're not trying to rule the world here with hero expeditions. We're just trying to fit in. Alright, this one looks like a good one for us. Because we can just come in with uh, Thunder God and Druid and hopefully get some procs over here. I'm hoping... Uh, sort of an interesting target, but it'll probably target here again. I was hoping for it to proc more on this side, but that's fine. Still took out some additional stuff, but... 
Their towers are pretty weak. They're very low towers, so this one should be pretty good cleanup now at this point. I think we can actually come in with some other heroes, but we're just trying to take it slowly. Hoping for another proc and kill a hero, because this little hero can pose us a threat. That one, not so much. I think we can come in with our Pumpkin Duke. Hoping for a lightning strike over here. I think we can purposely kill their druid fast. Gotta keep an eye. Good. The rest is a nice cleanup. We can get the 100%. That last one shouldn't be too much of a threat. I'll just put an engineer for good measure. Ooh. Did a little stun there, but it was okay. All right, so let's see how far we can get. I got a stunning tower, a tower that can do a little bit of damage, another stunning. So there's potential for us to be stuck and getting pounded on. That does pose a threat. Um, this side doesn't look like it has as much damage. But this tower does reach pretty far. So I think Succubus, we can just get rid of Succubus somehow fast enough. Get Angel in. I shouldn't have put Marksman in. Gotta back out. Too much damage on the Pumpkin Duke. Eh, it might be best just skip it. That tower was doing more damage. And that, this tower is going to do a good chunk of damage too. But their heroes are really weak. The tower is strong. Heroes are weak. So that's what we're looking at here right now. With this particular base setup. Heroes are laughable. Towers are actually a threat. Um, let's try and tank it with this. Get that coming out. Get another healer into play. And get engineer into play. So, ooh, those bombs do a little damage. Got to keep an eye. Got to keep an eye. Uh, uh, who is tanking? Who is not? Okay, so far the HP levels are acceptable. Ooh, got to keep an eye on that. Got to keep an eye on that. Going to possibly lose our Pumpkin Duke. We got to really keep an eye on that. Okay, got healed up. It's going to be 100% then. So how are you guys hero expeditions going? You guys doing pretty good? I've gotten better. I can usually get full clears when I'm not recording, so <laughs> recording just adds additional distractions. I'll get better, I promise, at doing recording slash playing. Come on. You're a tank. Try and tank properly. Thank you. It's pretty sad when a tank can't tank. <laughs> a tank that doesn't tank. I remember Alanacor at one point was actually really powerful. Oh, come on, I hit exit. Ah. Oh well. <laughs> I don't know. It's fun. We got a few R R R's in. I don't know if we're going to get the rest. I still got to get ready for work. So... Uh. And we've been recording for a bit of time now, too. So we did push ahead, getting closer to G's here, so becoming more powerful. Let me actually take a look how many points we got. 400, that's enough for a card. So we're looking pretty good, I think. We are going to be starting to try G's more often now. So... Keep an eye out for that, and I should be having a giveaway shortly. So, see you guys soon, see you guys soon, and have a good one.